audience. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. You guys just woke us up. We don't yeah. need to talk. Yeah. Mm. Well, you guys, we are having so much fun all week with our amazing guest co-host, Mel B. Awesome. <laughs> Did you guys check out her pants when she I walked know. out? Yes. Oh my yes. She is so sparkly. Sparkly <laughs> up, baby. I yeah. like it. I am having fun. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. I'm going to learn that accent by the end of this week. All right, so Mel, you've been uh, on NBC's hit show, America's Got Talent. Oh, I, I love, love that it. show. Years. I can't believe it's been five years. It's oh like God. yesterday. Wow. I mean, this show is so much fun to be on. Yeah. I get the best seat in the house. I get yeah. to be entertained for hours on end, yeah. watching people make fools of themselves, <laughs> watching people <laughs> cry, laugh. It's brilliant. Absolutely what's it like? Brilliant. Obviously, Nick Cannon is on the show, Heidi Klum, everybody. What's it like? What's your cast like there? You know what? It's like family. It's like this. Really? It. Yeah, it oh. really is. It's so comfortable. Yeah. Everybody's so lovely from the crew yeah. to everyone. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh, wow. I Okay, I've always wanted to ask you this because you see so much great talent. Yeah. Has there ever been a runner-up that you thought should have won? You know, I, I'm a, a bit of a sucker because I think everybody deserves to win. Right. I, I think it's Aww. unfair that only one person wins. But you know what? Actually, getting on the show, you get so exposed yeah. that you have a really fruitful career oh. no matter what. That is true. That's true. true. So true. That is That's true. true. If you yeah. manage it right, you yeah. get it. It's a win-win yeah. situation. Yeah. Yeah. I always yeah. tell people because I was in, um, in Star Search and I didn't win Star Search. But yeah. you don't remember who beat me because I'm on TV and sure. they're not. There you go. No shame. You're in good shape. Okay. You and Beyonce didn't yes. win Star yes. Search. Exactly. Beyonce didn't so, win all the way. I auditioned and I didn't even make it on Star Search. Oh, well, dang. Well, you mm -hmm. didn't you had a, a, a... And then T and I got sister. And didn't pick you guys? My sister and I, yeah, we... No, he did not. He did not. My sister and I wow. did like a little fun little dance routine. Uh -huh. We didn't even make it. But look uh, at us see? now. Oh, hey, never, 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 never give up. Never and never actually, give up. those experiences, it really depends on your attitude right after that happens. Too, yes. You could take it and be like, oh, man, I wasn't meant for this. Forget mm -hmm. it. Fooey through all, throw everything out the window. Or you can take it and go, no, you know what? God didn't say no. God said not now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. Very, yeah. Very, yeah. very true. Yeah. I love that That's thing. Well, not no, just not now. <laughs> well, speaking of success, the movie Hidden Figures. Yeah. Not oh. Hidden Fences. Oh. Hidden Figures. Oh. Had to. <laughs> A film about African-American women in the early days of the space program came in number one at the box office yes. this past weekend. Yes. Now, the film stars Janelle Monet, Octavia Spencer, and the great Taraji P. Henson. And Taraji even spoke out on her Instagram about coming in number one at the box office. She said, and I quote, I have been told my entire career black women can't open films domestically or internationally. Wow. Well, anything is possible. Most mm -hmm. importantly, this proves that people like good material. It has nothing to do with gender or race. I love right it. on, girl. I love it. I'm a woman of STEM, that's yeah. science, technology, engineering, yeah. and math. And for this to be a movie based on women in STEM, it, it just, it, it's long overdue. Yeah. I mean, because these women have been doing so many great things. And it's not only black women mm -hmm. that are in the movie. They're just women mm -hmm. in general. Because what people don't realize back then, they only wanted women to do the calculations. Because mm -hmm. that was supposed to be woman's work. And the men were supposed to do the engineering part of mm -hmm. it. So that's the reason why you had those women yes. that c came in there. Wow. So it, if it wasn't for these women, John Glenn wouldn't have never gotten to the moon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes. John Glenn orbited the Earth, okay? Yes. Buzz um, got to the moon, okay? Mm -hmm. But that, because of those calculations and things right. like that, this would have never happened because of those women. So it's a great movie to go yes, see. It, it is. really, it. really is. It is awesome. Oh, my God. I know for me, after I watched it, I just felt so empowered because the whole motto of the film is believing in yourself even when the odds are against yes. you. Right. Wow. And that's what they did. Yes. And I love that they band yes. together. And the cast was absolutely phenomenal. Their chemistry is seamless. It's like butter. It, yep. it, it feels as if they knew each other, yes. you know, for, for years. So congratulations to you yes. guys. Yeah. I also just want to remind everyone to tune into The Real this Friday. I actually got the chance to sit down and interview Taraji for the show. I'm so happy. I'm so happy she came by. It was 
amazing. She is awesome. She's one of those people, because I've known her, you guys, for over 20 years. She was on Sister Sister back in the day, and it was just great to be able to catch up with her. We hadn't seen each other in a long time. Yeah. But what I loved about her is she's the same person as she was when I met her over 20 years ago. Hollywood did not change her That's in a negative good. way. That, if that, anything, yeah. I, I told her she changed Hollywood. She impacted it in such it. a powerful, awesome. um, inspirational, and positive way. She is very wise, you guys. So you know, I, I had interviewed a lot of fun her, her, her as well for my radio show, Cafe Mocha Radio. She always supports us, yes. you know what I mean? And Octavia, I've been knowing Octavia Spencer for so long, and for these women to have this type of movie it's and amazing. for it to be number one, they've been working so hard yes. that they're finally getting recognition. For Octavia yes, to well be the Oscar winner, yes. it's just so well. great. We can talk about this one all day. I know, but we want to move I know. On. <laughs> You guys, Veronica Wells, a writer at Madame Noir, recently wrote an article that posed the question, you guys, if you're married to a black woman, does that mean that you get to make stereotypical black jokes? Okay, this is interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, the article was written in response to a recent incident surrounding Atlanta Hawks general manager, Wes Wilcox, who apologized after making a racially insensitive joke at a season ticket holder event. Wilcox said, quote, I know you guys may be angry with me, but I'm used to it because I have a black wife and three mixed kids, so I'm used to people being angry and argumentative. Ooh. Wow. Shame on him. Lonnie, as a comedian, mm -hmm. do you think that there's anything <laughs> funny about what he said? This is the thing about jokes, okay? You need to leave the jokes to Tell the comedians. It. Because <laughs> the adjectives that he's using is really messed up. If you're going to do a self-deprecating joke, which yeah. is what he was trying to do, that he, he should have talked, talked about, about himself. himself. Yeah, yes. that's how that Instead works. of yeah. incorporate his wife and his family. Yeah. If your wife is angry, it's not because she's black. It's because you made a stupid joke. That's why she's angry. <laughs> okay? I would, say, I would be offended if he called me just angry. Yeah. What he said just exactly. wasn't, that's wasn't what's cool. Exactly. It's no way. And then no, the mixed kids, I think he was, he's so proud of his family, yeah. but he was trying to make a point, but it was just a stupid it, point. It, yeah. It wasn't, that's, you know, wasn't funny. It wasn't funny and it wasn't a nice point. No, that's the thing. But, but sometimes said, men act like that. I mean, first of all, if, <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> no, no, I mean, what do you think, Mel? I'm sorry. What do you think? I just think any jokes about color period yeah. should not be happening. Mm -hmm. You're right. That's, that's yeah. my opinion. Yeah. Like See, okay, so being married to a Caucasian man, I, for me, in my marriage, I think it's, I think it's, um, I think it's interesting and humorous when Freddie picks up on things that my family, I'm not talking about all Asian families out right. there, but he's like, why do we have to bargain every single thing that we buy? <laughs> And I'm like, that's a my family thing. We just always want to find a better deal. But if he were to go out there and say, yo, that's just Asian people always need to find a deal, yeah. that's going to offend somebody out there because you can't speak for everybody else out there because the only one you know is me. Yeah. yeah. So you've got to be careful when you generalize. Yeah, you, you know? generalize. Yeah, and he said it publicly. The thing about that joke, too, is that it perpetuates a stereotype that yes. is untrue. Exactly. And it's like you got the angry black woman, now you got to have black kids mm -hmm. and they angry at you and you just, you know, it's yeah, just a like mess. Black it's people just... are carrying an angry gene. Like, <laughs> it's, that's just dumb. Dumb. it's like, it's just totally not true. Yeah. So yeah. that's the reason, you know, we are very, very sensitive and I think these are, are really good times to be sensitive because there are a lot of things that's happening in the country. So it's really good that we check when this type of yes. thing happens and that people say, you know, I'm offended by that yeah. and I want you to know why I'm offended yeah. and let's do something about it so exactly. that everybody understands. And maybe yeah. he'll, okay. he'll learn and move on from this yes. situation, you right? You may think this is wrong. What? Okay, you are a black woman married yes. to a white man. Yes. Tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> like, is it Mayor Bellagio? De de oh, wow. Let me get that right. Bellagio is a hotel in Vegas. <laughs> yes. Mayor de Blasio in New York, he is married to a black woman. He walked yes. into a conference, uh, a, a, I think a press conference, and happened to say that to please excuse him for being late, he was on CP time. Right. Color people time. Correct. Which, yeah. So people were offended by that. <laughs> because and color people time is supposed to be the stereotype 15 maybe minutes Maybe I'm just yes. too English. Late. We don't do jokes like that in no? England. We really don't. Like, color jokes are just not acceptable. Well, I applaud I England British. for that. Yeah. Yeah. I really think it's a British thing. Yeah, with that no. being said, a lot of people obviously were offended by this. 
And tell me if I'm wrong, but like, I low key blame his wife. Why? Well, as the woman, you should be like, you should not be saying that. Like, I'm not trying to be funny, but like, even, okay, Israel was raised in a, in a white family, mm -hmm. and, but he was raised in a Latino community. So obviously now he's married to a Latina woman. Yeah. I would educate him and be like, True. don't say that. Like, that's not something you say. That's not funny. Yeah, but, like, no, is there anything you've had to tell Adam? Like, don't do that. Don't say that. Adam is just not that yeah, type of not. person. He yeah. just doesn't think, I think he'll agree with you, Mel. Or he'll just say, leave it to the comedians. He doesn't even try to make yeah. racially driven jokes. Because my, hun my honey my husband. is sometimes just not funny. So... <laughs> No, so I think he's just very careful, just in general, you know. But that's what you're supposed to be, and it doesn't matter whether you're married to somebody or not. I don't think it was the wife's fault because you don't know if the wife actually has probably told him. No. I think that he was trying to be funny. Again, this is me and not thinking, and, and and he just said, "I'm gonna make it funny," yes, and but it's not. Yeah, but what, what I see about what Adrian is saying cool. is that when you're in a blended marriage or a blended relationship, friends, anything. Some people really don't know. You are you have the gift to to bring up and educate to each other things that you didn't know growing up in your culture. Yeah. I had to check one of Freddie's friends because he called me Oriental and I had to explain to him that I'm not a rug. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I was checked, you guys. Actually, for those that don't know, I think it's important that you know. And that was no shade, you guys. Like, no, honestly, no, you mean, a lot of people don't know. know. Let her keep explain. Explain. Some people don't know that when there are certain terminology, there's certain terminology that you use to describe certain objects and things. Like the word oriental, that describes something manufactured. That describes people are not. A, a, a type of thing where it's made and the culture behind it, not a person. So you can't say someone is oriental because what it's should you say? You should say they're Asian, Asian or exactly. you should say or just yeah. say I'm genie. I have You're to tell a woman. You. It doesn't have to be. Yeah. Just I, color. I actually was checked. I was checked by my white husband, to be honest with you guys. What did he say? <laughs> what did you well, say? Well, I made a sandwich. <laughs> You, you guys know where I'm going. You know where I'm going. No, I know. Go ahead. They know where I'm going. So I made a sandwich, and I had some mayonnaise, and I said, Adam, do you want a lot of mayo on your sandwich? Because when I... I, I say mayo. I'm I know, confused. but it's, it's kind of like a racial thing that white people love mayonnaise. They do. And it's black that. people love, you know, fried chicken. You like But I didn't sauce. mean it. I didn't mean it in a derogative way. What did he I say? was trying to help him. He had no him. idea. He said, Tamara, I don't like mayo just because I'm white. I actually <laughs> hate mayo. So I was, thank you, Adam, for, for oh, teaching wow. me. Oh, wow. Not all oh, white but, people but, but, like, like yes, mayonnaise. Okay. We're I'm talking about a mayor. We're I talking about a mayor of New York. Mm -hmm. And the other man was the GM of an NBA team. So they're professionals. They should yeah. know better about jokes. And yeah. we yeah. should help wherever someone yes, doesn't know. Be helpful. If you are a wife, if you are a friend, if you yeah. notice that someone's calling people Yeah, oriental. but if they don't listen, so they're going to have to find out publicly like they're doing now. Well, so hello. that's what happens. This is a PSA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've learned to help you. Are.